Every year, over 200,000 young Kenyans enroll for university. Many of these students graduated at the top of their class, only to struggle to find a job that fully utilizes their skill and intelligence. For students from disadvantaged backgrounds, the opportunities to find meaningful work are even harder to come by. The Kenya ICT Market Survey 2011 Julisha notes that companies in Kenya struggle to find the right IT skills they need to grow their business. The skills gap, the report recommends, can only be sealed if government, private sector and academia work together. In response to the need for the right talent to grow in Africa, ICT Authority and SAP launched Skills for Africa, a scholarship scheme worth 1.6 million Kenya shillings or 19,000 US dollars per student that will bring SAP certification training to hundreds of brilliant Kenyan university graduates. The Skills for Africa was actually a brainchild of, 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 our, of ourselves, SAP, and a discussion that we had with the then ICT board, which is now the ICT authority. And we were trying to address a couple of key things. One is to uh, improve the number of skills, SAP skills that are available in the market, and two, provide a different future for many graduates who are probably from a background that cannot afford uh, on their own to try and get this kind of skill. Africa is home to some of the world's fastest growing economies and is creating a lot of demand for enterprise solutions that will help organizations of all sizes run more efficiently and become more profitable. One of the leading solutions for enterprise software is SAP. In East Africa, we have about uh, 220 now uh, customers running SAP from, uh, you know, really uh, small companies, uh, homegrown uh, companies. I think one of the our more famous uh, examples of a small company running SAP is Shamaz Auto Spares out on Baricho Road. Uh, but up to the, the, the big, large multinationals, be it East African breweries, people like Cadbury's, uh, local big companies like Kenya uh, Power and Lighting, uh, Kenya Ports Authority, these are some of our, our, of our core uh, customers. However, less than 2% of SAP certified professionals globally are from Kenya. 80% of the 8,000 SAP professionals in the continent reside in South Africa, which leaves many other countries, including Kenya, reliant on expatriate labor that is costly. The Skills for Africa initiative, launched in September 2012, will see approximately 100 students equipped with SAP training each year for the next four years. This year, 81 recent graduates qualified for the six-week training hosted at Multimedia University that covered modules in technology, business and finance, logistics and soft skills. The finalists were competitively selected from a pool of more than 300 applicants, in which 163 were shortlisted for interviewing by a panel of judges. After the training, students who passed the certification exam were immediately matched with internship opportunities from the wide spectra of SAP customers. I was raised in El Cayomaraquet County, Kitany location to Bier Village. I was admitted at JK Watt. That's where I did Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. I had some background on SAP, I had had SAP some time back, but when I saw that link on Facebook, that's when I, I opened the link and I, was, I got interested and I applied the for SAP. The SAP Skills for Africa program targets students from all academic fields. This year, 30% of finalists for the program are female and 55% came from outside Nairobi County. This resulted in a diverse student body. I studied actual science at Maseno University. I come from a small town in Kiambu called Umberi. That's where I grew up. Well, being from an, an, an ICT background, the SAP program kind of broadened my mind, my thinking, and 
it has been a wonderful experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything else. Um, I am born and bred in Mombasa. I grew up in Mombasa, went to school in Mombasa, um, went to high school in Mombasa, then came to university in Thika at Mount Kenya University. The program has definitely made an impact in my professional life. Uh, given that I come from an IT-based background and the degree I did in school was um, IT-related and having gotten into finance at this particular point in time, uh, the program has helped me develop character, it has helped me expand my boundaries, it has helped me realize things about myself I have never really realized. I have never really known uh, some of the capabilities I had because I had uh, an attitude against accounts and I thought I could never get into anything finance. But then, uh, guess again, who ever knew that this is something God had planned? So yes, the impacts are quite immense. I could write a book on them. Through initiatives like the SAP Skills for Africa, ICT Authority aims at remedying the skills gap prevalent in the ICT sector as technology advancement is identified by Vision 2030, Kenya's economic blueprint, as a key component for the country to achieve middle income status. The interesting thing is that uh, the SAP Skills for Africa project aligns very well with our Chipuka initiative. And our role in this project has been to ensure competitive selection of candidates, as well as partnering in all the local arrangements which will ensure that the students or the participants do effectively participate in this program. Multimedia University is the academic partner and the institution is providing fully kitted training rooms, including computers with high-speed internet for each student, catering and staff to support administration and the shortlisting process. ICT Authority, uh, together with SAP, approached MMU to offer facilities. We gave uh, the project uh, our best labs, we call them the Korea Center, which are um, well established with high-speed internet connectivity. Uh, we were very happy to, to be part of this project because as multimedia university, we feel that uh, it's a contribution towards the Vision 2030. Graduates from the training have been matched with internships in some of Kenya's leading companies. Well, our talent pool sits with the universities. Now we had, to, we had to do some very rigorous testing to ensure that we're able to sort of have the criteria and the kind of talent we want coming to organization. But now remember that without the SAP skills for Africa, what would happen is that you're, you're absorbing raw talent and you have to then start putting them through a roadmap, okay, in terms of career development. From day one, you're able to have specific skills targeted towards SAP. So it means, number one, it will improve the timeline of our hiring. It will be able to, be able to give us a, a vetted list of people we can, we can onboard, okay, talent we can onboard. Number three, it will also be in a position whereby we are able to get this talent immediately, and then the talent can become immediately productive. The opportunity to work as a high-skilled professional at a top company was out of reach for many of the students who enrolled in the program. But by taking that first step to submit an application to participate in the Skills for Africa program, they changed the course of their lives and are now heading towards a brilliant and successful career. SAP has made me into an, an all-round person. It is really one of the best things you could ever do. It is really one of the best feelings you could ever have. I believe in, the, in my dreams and doing SAP for me is a dream come true. Africa in the next 10 years is going to be, is going to be where the opportunity and growth is. And we need to be here now. And I believe that we are the, at the right time and the right moment in, in Africa. Capacity development is going to be a key mandate that we have to deliver on. I believe we will we only be able to do this effectively through partnerships like what we are doing with SAP today. Uh, as SAP, this is the beginning of a long journey for us to try and help uh, the people whom we work with, our partners, our customers, and ensure that we also operate in a better society overall.